for the serious gamer. Hey guys, this is Matimio, and today I'm here to bring you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay and commentary for the Next Gen Tactics Directors Contest. And this week's theme is struggling gameplay. So I'm going to be showcasing some gameplay where the enemy team is kind of dominating me, and I'm kind of struggling. But I'm going to hopefully give you guys some helpful tips on how to avoid these situations and just have a more pleasant experience than the one I'm actually having. So I hope you guys enjoy my pain and hopefully learn a couple of things. So the first thing I want to talk about is gun selection. And right here I'm using the AUG assault rifle. And normally I don't use the, the this weapon, but for some reason I fall into the trap of where I'm constantly switching between, between weapons just because I think the next one's going to vastly improve my aiming or something along those lines. And this really is a cycle that you want to avoid. And I really recommend just kind of sticking with one or two weapons per class and then just kind of sticking with just those two. Because at least I'm, in my opinion, when you're constantly switching between weapons, it's going to really uh, reduce the quality of your gameplay because you're just gonna, you're not going to be used to the weapon, you're not going to be used to the way that it shoots, and this is going to kind of destroy your accuracy. And throughout this video, you're going to notice that I am just going to miss, like right here, I'm going to just completely miss the enemy. Yeah, just awful aiming. And then right, even right here, I there's two people that run by and... I don't even think I get a hit marker. I get one hit marker, and that's it. And it, like I said, absolutely terrible aim. And so, like I said, I recommend picking one or two weapons per class and then just sticking with it because, at least in my opinion, it's going to really improve your gameplay in the long term. Now, another thing that you're going to want to wa watch out for is how you spawn. And I know this sounds really basic, but that's because it is. And I actually uh, do this all the time, and I hate it when I actually do it because I know it's just a stupid move. But that's when you're spawning, make sure that you know where your allies are and make sure that they're not going to die like right or you're about to die right when you spawn on them. Because there's been numerous times where I'm like, oh yeah, you know, my ally is right in the thick of battle and I want to spawn right on him. So I'm right there and get more kills. But really, if you're spawning right in, you know, right where he is and he's out in the open and he dies right when you spawn and then you die, it's, it's really frustrating. It happens all the time to me. So my main recommendation is, you know, it may suck when you have to spawn at your base, but if you're going to die, just don't do it. Don't don't spawn on your ally. Um, right there was actually probably the only one cool thing about this video that was actually kind of entertaining was the fact that I threw a, a preemptive grenade and got the kill. Now, the entire time I'm actually getting owned here, I'm thinking to myself that this really isn't working and we probably should try something different. And this is probably one of the smarter things that I actually did in this video, and that is to is to is to try something different. Is don't do the same thing over and over again. And in this case, the entire time we've been trying to knock down this this right side to get to the MCOM station. So instead of doing that, we just move over, over to the left side. I know that's so complicated, uh, but really, I find a lot of people just do the same thing over and over again, expecting the same re or a different result. And really, it just, they just keep getting their face kicked in. So in this case we've, we've decided to move on to the left side and we actually make it to the MCOM stations and one piece of advice that I think, at least in my opinion, is probably the best way and most effective way to actually improve your gameplay for whatever game you're playing is to actually think about different strategies that you can implement um, to a situation. So if you're you know, trying to get to a different MCOM station, you're trying to improve your, your kill-death ratio on a certain map, think of different ways and different strategies that you can actually uh, you know, implement and try them out. And even if they don't, even if they're not that successful, uh, just keep trying because you're eventually going to try something that's going to work really well. And when I actually started making videos for my YouTube channel, I did this kind of process and I must say that it really improved my gameplay immensely. And if you can take one thing away from this video, uh, that would definitely be my, my main point. Now another thing that I noticed in this video was the fact that I was being really, really aggressive and I was overextending into the enemy's base way too frequently, which was because I was trying to be Rambo, to be quite frank. Um, I was trying to be a one-man army and it really wasn't working out for me. And in some cases, being Rambo is a lot of fun and you can be you can get a lot of kills and actually help your team out. Uh, but in most cases, and especially in this case, I was just failing so hard. I couldn't even shoot anyone because I wasn't used to the weapon. I wasn't even getting spots off for some reason. And I was pretty much useless to my team. And I probably would have better I probably would have been better served just kind of picking flowers back here because at the moment I am just being useless. Uh, so in this case, I know I should have um, 
just kind of stuck with my team at the front lines and then slowly pushed up to the MCOM station because, to be honest, this is a team-based game, and when you're trying to play it like a, a like a Modern Warfare 2 game and you're trying to be like a one-man army, it just becomes really hard to actually get to the MCOM station and actually help your team out, especially if you're doing as poorly as I am. So I was kind of embarrassed by my performance, and it kind of hurts watching how terrible I played. <laughs> Uh, so we actually are successful in taking out this MCOM station, but because when we move to the next base It pretty much gets really bogged down and we fail and lose I figured I would spare you guys the next 10 to 15 minutes of my terribleness <laughs> But like I said this video was for the next gen tactics directors contest So if you would like to give me some support Just give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I would greatly appreciate that uh, but also make sure to subscribe to Next Gen Tactics and NGT Games. I couldn't be more thankful for them giving me the opportunity to even be a part of this great contest. Um, but also make sure to check out all the other great videos from the contestants. They have a lot of great content that I know you guys will really enjoy and love. Uh, but yeah, guys, have a good one and take it easy.